you want more, I'll give you more. This is the Blind Item Deep Dive of Henry Cavill. We are starting out in 2013 with our Henry Cavill Blind Item Deep Dive. This rising star's PR team has been calling the shots in his relationship. They urged him to end his first engagement and now they are preventing him from popping the question again. Okay, Ariana Grande. He feels solid in his path to A-list status thanks to finally nabbing a huge role, and this is when he nabs Superman. But his handlers have told him to decide whether he wants to be a star or be a husband. He decided to stand by his girl for now, and that was when he was dating Gina Carano, and his previous fiance had been Ellen Whitaker. So all the Henry Cavill fans, um, I'm just a fan of his acting, not him as a person. Um, I wouldn't get too worked up about whether or not Henry Cavill has popped the question to his current Sweet 16 girlfriend because it seems he has a penchant for asking women to marry him and never actually marrying him. Kaylee Cuoco. Uh, I haven't had her in a blind at him yet, but Kaylee Cuoco, before she had a baby like she has now with Tommy Pelfrey, she was all over the blind items and all over LA. This is a Gina Carano, Henry Cavill, Kaylee Cuoco blind item. This B-list celebrity turned B minus C plus list mostly movie actress has been a ran on a rampage the past two months. She is convinced her A minus list mostly movie actor boyfriend cheated on her and has been letting him know it every day. The clothes he had at her place have been burned and the ashes sent back to him in the mail. She also texted all his friends to tell them what her thoughts were on the situation. She is not happy, and when she gets wind of his current girlfriend, I hope she is ready for some of the same. So uh, this is when I guess. Henry Cavill cheated on her with Kelly Cuoco, Gina Carano, and then started dating Kelly Cuoco. That, that little analysis I gave after that first blind item was on point. Remember when I told you guys not to get too worried about Henry Cavill and his fiance of the moment? Because Henry Cavill gets a lot of fiancés at the moment. Next from 2013, this is a Henry Cavill, Kaylee Cuoco of the Big Bang Theory Blightum. He is a star of one of the biggest movies of the past year, and that was Man of Steel. She is a star of a popular television show. They are now dating. Is their relationship real? Not quite. <coughs> Travis, Kelsey, Taylor Swift. Uh, they are both single, good-looking, successful actors who share the same publicist. Tree Payne isn't Travis Kelsey's publicist. Yes, this relationship was cooked up in a publicist's office. Note, PR relationships are so much easier when there's only one publicist involved. Life hack. Their initial contract is only just for a few months. Then they will have the chance to decide whether they both want to renew. The upside is that they don't really mind hanging out together, have become real friends, and have garnered themselves a lot of publicity. The PDA is just for the cameras at this point, and they haven't slept together yet but one of them is hopeful that it will become something more. We think this fake dating relationship could actually become a real one. That was the best fucking blind item to explain PR relationships. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift might have kissed. That doesn't mean that they're gonna get married and have a baby, it's called a PR relationship, just like Henry Cavill and Kaylee Cuoco, which did turn a little real. We will find out, I guess, but I believe so. Um, but that's the tea, part one, done. Part two of the Henry Cavill Blind Item Deep Dive. We are still in 2013. This first Blind Item features Kaylee Cuoco and she will be marrying her first husband, Ryan Sweeting, the tennis player um, at the end of this year, 2013. So in November, 2013, Kaylee Cuoco was in a PR relationship with Henry Cavill, but was actually in a real relationship with Ryan Sweeting for them to get married a whole month later, but they were dating for only three months when they got married. But the point is, is that Kaylee Cuoco and Henry Cavill were in a PR relationship, despite the fact that a month from this blind item and three months from when their PR relationship started, Kaylee Cuoco got married to her real boyfriend. She is one of the stars of a very popular television series. This is the Big Bang Theory. She has also been the subject of at least one blind gossip item this year because she was participating in a PR generated relationship with another actor. Right after they broke up, our actress started dating a professional athlete. Five minutes later, they declared that they intended to spend the rest of, less of their lives together. Huh? What's the rush? Well, as usual, we know the definitive answer before everyone else. She's pregnant. Oh. Yes, that's right, pregnant. Her friends are telling us that she is right around the 12 week mark. She's not quite ready to announce, but will instead spend the next few weeks wearing loose-fitting clothing and hoping that you don't notice, just like Carrie Washington. She will definitely announce before the end of the year the three questions. Is it wise for her to marry someone she hardly knows just because she's pregnant? Will they work her pregnancy into her television show? And who will they say is the TV daddy? She just had her first kid, though, so... 
All right, Peter, that first pregnancy, or one of the first at all. We are now in 2014, and Gina Carano and Henry Cavill are dating again, allegedly. This c plus actress turned to acting after a career as an A-list entertainer athlete. She and her A-list mostly movie actor boyfriend are having issues. Might have something to do with the fact he cheats on her every week and is not shy about sharing photos and movies she made for him with his friends. What? Oh, and it says that they did split. Um, and that is Gina Carano and Henry Cavill. I don't know a whole lot about Henry Cavill. Like, I just know a few of his blind items about him and younger women, much younger, like barely legal in other countries, not legal in the United States. I know the age of consent in the UK is like 16, which is always weird to me. Oh God, okay, so <laughs> we are still in 2014 and uh, Henry Cavill was filming Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice while dating Gina Carano. The A-list mo movie actor, ex of the actress in number seven, oh, so Kaylee Coco was in a previous blind item, uh, ha has been having schmecks with a cocktail waitress he met in a casino while shooting his new movie and his actress girlfriend would not be pleased. Okay, Henry Cavill, doing it with a cocktail waitress. What a surprise. This is the last Henry Cavill blind item of 2014. This is about um, Kaylee Cuoco, again, <laughs> Henry Cavill and Henry Cavill's ex-girlfriend, Marissa Gonzalo. That is Marissa. This A-list mostly movie actor is known for getting into a suit. He is also known for dumping this A-plus list mostly television actors from a hit network show because she wanted to get married after one date and even told the tabloids they were getting married. Woo! Kaylee Kyoko has zero chill. Can you blame her though? It's Henry Cavill. Anyway, he has a new girlfriend who does things to him he has never had done. So he's perfectly willing to excuse the things she does, which he has publicly stated are 100% the opposite of what he believes. Okay, we don't like a man that doesn't stick to his principles because he likes to get P... Pet, um, but that is Henry Cavill being a staunch animal rights activist. So is Kelly Kuoko. Um, and his new girlfriend, Marissa Gonzalo, being an avid hunter. I didn't know that Henry Cavill and I both didn't like hunting. What? We're soulmates. Part three of the Henry Cavill Blind Item Deep Dive. We are in 2015. And I was waiting for a blind item of these two. And by these two, I mean Amy Adams and Henry Cavill. This may be my first Amy Adams blind item. For the record, um, she is one of those actresses I can't not be biased about. I love Amy Adams. Hopefully she doesn't disappoint. This A-list action star was not supposed to be at a pre-Golden Globes event, but showed up anyway to the surprise of his A-list mostly movie actress recent co-star. She likes to know when one of her lovers is going to be around her boyfriend. She was sweating while photographers took photos. I thought she was a better actress. Can you blame her? I know Henry Cavill's creepy, but dude, he's still fucking hot, especially in 2015 um, in Man of Steel. So that is Amy Adams allegedly being lovers with Henry Cavill. Who can blame her? Amy Adams is like, Henry, can I go where you go? Will we always be this close? Next in 2015, uh, what the fuck are you doing here, Cara Delevingne? Um, this foreign-born A-list model, who's also an actress, now was at a party this past weekend and saw this B-plus list action movie star and said she has never been with a man but would make an exception for him. He found out and kept talking to her about threesomes. He did the same thing with this A-list television actress, and the A-list television actress was Kelly Cuoco. That is Cara Delevingne hitting on Henry Cavill at the BAFTA tea party. Okay, next from 2015, uh, Ariana, what are you doing here? This A-list action movie star who does not do much other than that role and work out is also a homewrecker. Well, the wife helped too. She's an actress who had her best days on the tweener show. I'm too lazy to look up when she got married, but it could not have been very long ago. The funny thing is, is that it's either Henry Cavill or Chris Evans. <laughs> this or that. Uh, next from 2015, yes, that was the actor who portrays one of the big superheroes with the pants to his tucks around his feet. As he did it with this horizontal professional slash model he brought as his date to an event outside the country. It was a huge event, but apparently he only came to say he had schmecks there because he left shortly after without his date. Now, it doesn't say which model slash escort it is, 
But if you all want to do some sleuthing and you're curious, uh, you can probably find out. This was at the 2015 BAFTA Gala Dinner. That was Henry Cavill there. I just don't have the time to Google it and do a deep dive. But whoever his date was, was the model slash escort. And that model is also a horizontal professional as a side gig. Part four of the Henry Cavill Blind Item Deep Dive. We are in 2015. We are crossing Marvel and DC universes with this next one because this is a Karen Gillan who plays Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Henry Cavill Blightum. As sloppy drunk as this A-list superhero actor was at an event two nights ago, and this is at the Jameson Empire Awards 2015, there was still no excuse for him pawing at this foreign-born B-list mostly television actress who was on a long-running hit overseas and crashed and burned here so this is before she got the nebula role avi everyone assumed she would push him away and go on with her night but started but he started talking about a part in his new movie and she is desperate for work and the next thing you know they left together it was really sad watching it all take place okay we are still in 2015 and i i get it okay we are starting to get to the bad henry cavill blind items uh, just warning you guys, okay, I think as his star rose, so did his uh, bad behavior. The superhero movie star, who is A-list when in his superhero role and B-list and everything else, was scheduled to attend a series of press events while overseas and then a show. He made it to the show, but he skipped everything else because he went on a horizontal professional binge. Reports are that in just a few days, he hooked up with almost a dozen different women. I'm just hoping that we get a blind item about him being a great tipper or something so I can feel a little bit better knowing those horizontal professionals were paid well. This next one is a Dominic Cooper Henry Cavill blind item. Uh, Dominic Cooper is significant to me because his wife Jenna Chan is my favorite. She's the most beautiful woman on earth. I don't care what anyone says. This A-list mostly movie actor, at least when it comes to his franchise, larger than life character, was replaced in an upcoming movie because of his substance abuse issues. Uh, and that is Dominic Cooper replacing Henry Cavill in Stratton. I wonder if his drug of choice is uh, horizontal professionals, and that's what they mean by substance abuse. This next blind item from uh, 2015 is about the man from Uncle, which Henry Cavill was in with, uh huh, Army Hammer. Dun 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 dun. Oh my god, I bet you guys that there are bodies buried between those two. Um, and then it also references Batman v Superman, Dawn of, Ju Dawn of Justice, um, and they both came out in 2015. And Kelly Cuoco is a fake relationship in this. All right. This handsome film actor has asked his publicist to find him a girlfriend in the next couple months. This probably won't get done in time to promote his summer flick, but it will provide plenty of photo ops prior to his other films released in the 1Q 2016. And that was Batman v Superman. Man from Uncle was first. Nothing special about his requirements. He wants someone younger, pretty, smaller than him. He would prefer an actress and thinks that they should be famous enough to be recognized, but not super famous, or she might overshadow him. Is that why he's dating the girl from My Sweet Sixteen? Super Actually, this sounds a lot like the TV actress who engaged in a fake relationship with him a couple years ago. The gig is for six months with a possible extension after the film's release, which means that we will probably start seeing him with a new girlfriend before Thanksgiving. Was this a fucking advert for a, a Henry Cavill beard? I, did I just read an advert from a... What? Okay, but Henry Cavill is an excellent example of a straight man in Hollywood needing a beard. I think, like, Sebastian Stan, I'm still pretty sure he's straight, um, to make him look good because he is just binging horizontal professionals. So when he goes to work events, that's what promotions are. Fil film premieres are work events for these guys. Um, they need a plus one. So they look like they're in a committed, loving relationship and not just slinging their sack all over foreign countries. Part five of the Henry Cavill Blind Adam Deep Dive. We are still in 2015. And uh, this next blind item is a Gal Gadot blind item. I think we've only had one before. And it's insane because it's also a John Hamm and Henry Cavill blind item. I think you could put two and two together. Apparently... The woman that finally caused a split between this former A-list mostly television actor from that very hit cable show that ended and his very long-term significant other was this foreign-born B-list mostly movie actress who played herself in her biggest movie role. She hooked up with the lead in that movie 
and hooked up with this lead from the first day they met. Not sure why her significant other sticks around. Is the baby even his? Damn! Okay, so this blind item is saying that Gal Gadot hooked up with John Hamm from the first day they met on the set of Keeping Up with the Joneses, where she essentially played herself. I do like that movie. But Gal Gadot is the reason why John Hamm and his first wife, I think it was, or I don't think they got married. I think they were just together for like 20 years. His significant other, Jennifer Westfeld, split, okay? And Gal Gadot hooked up with Henry Cavill when they were filming Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. She really is Wonder Woman. It's a wonder she gets any filming done. But also, are you kidding? Henry Cavill, John Hamm, and Gal Gadot? Sign me up. Uh, next from 2015. So this is Henry Cavill at the premiere of Man from Uncle with uh, Army Hammer. This A minus list most movie actor should be A plus list with the chances he's been given. Always action or superhero. The actor was completely wasted on the red carpet of his latest premiere and is suffering from really bad drug bloat. The guy looks awful and is blowing his chances at superstardom. If that's Henry Cavill bloated, all of my ex-boyfriends need to lower their fucking voices. <laughs> okay, next from 2015. <laughs> I just like this one because it involves skiing. The failure of which latest big screen remake of a classic TV show has been blamed on bad casting choices? This is the man from UNCLE. Studio execs have been pointing fingers at one actor in particular, saying his inability to act wasn't even their biggest problem. It was the rate at which he hovered up the GAC as Henry Cavill skiing all over the set of Man From U.N.C.L.E. Army Hammer probably asked to borrow one of his ribs, you know? Okay, someone had previously commented about Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill. Here is a Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill blind item of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. The substance has started to affect the acting of this A-minus list mostly movie actor, and that is Henry Cavill. There's only so much CGI they can use in the movie. Damn, I wish I could CGI, like, everything. I'd give myself a big ol'. Uh, they do need some acting and have decided to cut some of his scenes and add more of this A plus, A plus list, A plus, to Matisha Lalame, mostly movie actor into the movie. So that is Ben Affleck getting more screen time because Henry Cavill can't stay off the gack. That's ironic, considering it's Ben Affleck. <laughs> Someone being more sober than Ben Affleck is the most shocking blind item I've ever read. Part six of the Henry Cavill Blind Item Deep Dive. I had to go clean up my comment section on the previous five parts because women, you are so much better than to throw your lives on the line for this man, especially after this haircut. This isn't Tumblr fanfic. These are fucking blind items. I cannot stand stands. Ironic. Okay, we are in 2015, but this is the last blind item of 2015. Uh, let's talk about what it's like to do it with this very handsome actor. Okay, I'm set. I'm set. Let's talk about this. Uh, <laughs> this happened just a few years ago around the time of the premiere of a movie in which he starred. He had just learned that he had landed the highly coveted role of a superhero who we'll call Handsome Man. Okay, Superman. Just don't need to use code words here. It's not a secret. And a uh, future film and was discussing the new role with a bunch of people at a private club. His most recent success, his famous good looks, certainly made it easy for him to attract lots of attention, both male and female. He quickly focused on one pretty girl and turned on the charm. He was laying it on real thick. He was talking about how their future together, many kids they would have, and what school they would go to, etc., etc. The funny part, funniest part was when he said to her, you know... You're really lucky. So many women would give their right arm to be in your position right now. I mean, you're sitting here talking to Superman. <laughs> we were all laughing at how ridiculous the line was, but she was drunk and he was so good looking and charming she couldn't resist him. They did hook up. Unfortunately, their date got significantly less funny as time went on. Um, I don't even know if I'm comfortable reading that part. Think sea cucumber. Think sea cucumber. Think victimize sea cucumber. Or an attempt to victimize a sea cucumber. Oh my god. And then, and then she found out he has the gift that keeps on giving. And she wanted to know why he didn't tell her that before they did it. 
he just shrugged it off. And within a couple days, he found a new girl to hook up with. He's disgusting. What a great guy. The fact that, like, I, <laughs> I had to, like, summarize the last three sentences because they're so bad. We are finally in 2016. And this next blind item features Tara King, who was the 19-year-old girlfriend Henry Cavill was dating in 2016 when he was 32. Okay? The women are like, this is all Tumblr fanfic. This man has no patterns of problematic behavior. This A-minus list mostly movie actor who is a superhero is known for the strange things he has made his exes take part in. He had a longtime celebrity girlfriend who was willing to do most, and that was Gina Carano, and an A-list actress who is not. That's Kaylee Cuoco. His new girlfriend apparently goes above and beyond and is trolling for new men and women to bring to the bedroom almost every night, and that is 19-year-old Tara S. King. That is why age gap relationships between 32-year-olds and 19-year-old university students, she was literally a student dating Henry Cavill in his Superman era. That's why that's a problem. Part seven of the Henry Cavill Blind Adam Deep Dive. Um, now that we have all been properly educated um, on the situationship with sea cucumbers, uh, we will proceed in 2016. Um, and remember, we're at the point in uh, Henry Cavill's uh, career where he is dating a 19 year old. A 19 year old uh, university student, actually, Tara King. Okay. While making a movie out of the country, not Canada, this B-plus list superhero cheated on his girlfriend. Not a first or last for him. She is so innocent, not so innocent herself. She paid several people at two nightclubs to let her know when someone famous came to the club and to get her access to that famous person. Her, co her current boyfriend was not her first choice. She really wanted a boy bander. That is 19-year-old Tara King really showing her age as a 19-year-old student wanting to date a member of One Direction instead of Henry Cavill, but being stuck with Henry Cavill because all of the members of One Direction were dating each other at that time. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> you guys, you guys. Okay, it's getting bad. It's getting bad. I, I'm not going to be able to look at Henry Cavill the same after this next blind item. This superhero brought his teen, barely, barely, barely legal girlfriend to the premiere. Considering she still lives at home, her parents came to the premiere too. Separately, the superhero's family ignored them and pretended they didn't exist. That is Henry Cavill and 19-year-old student Tara King with their parents coming to the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. I don't know if she had a curfew or something. The funny thing is, is that if this was America, she wouldn't even be allowed to drink. Period. Okay, now we have this, this James Bond casting shit has been going on since 2016 but we got like i think we've gotten like one or two at least james bond movies since then with still daniel craig agents and managers are waiting to hear back about the status of this a minus list movie sorry a list movie role james bond <laughs> it's suddenly become the most sought after role in town and i can count at least five a list actors that desperately want in negotiations are underway with the current occupant so i guess daniel craig won out in 2016 um the actors were idris elba Tom Hardy, I love him. Henry Cavill, Tom Hiddleston, Michael Fassbender. All right, next up from 2016, um, Henry Cavill is learning firsthand what it's like to parent a teenager, specifically a teenaged girl. I don't think the superhero movie actor will be dating someone so young again. Uh, this blind item spoke too soon. He has learned his lesson. Her fake pregnancy was one thing, the other being the fake engagement when she brought a ring and told friends and family our actor had proposed. The thing is, our actor doesn't even know how to get out of this without making things worse. That sounds like karma, Henry Cavill. Part seven of the Henry Cavill and his sea cucumber squad blind item deep dive. We are in 2016. Um, remember, Henry Cavill uh, is actually 33 now dating a 19-year-old student. 
The family of this recently dumped teen are exploring all options to either sue the A-list superhero who dumped her or at least spill enough dirt about him to make some money off the split. So that was actually great. 33-year-old Henry Cavill dumped his 19-year-old student girlfriend, Tara King, and her family, her parents were just at the Superman premiere, Dawn of Justice, uh, were looking for ways to sue him. It's a little late for that. You should have thought about that before you uh, consented to the premiere and your daughter dating a 32-year-old man. Okay, so speaking of fuck around and find out when you date a literal teenager when you are a grown-ass man, the now ex-girlfriend of this A-list superhero convinced the actor to meet up and talk. So he showed up to a spot where the ex's friends were hiding in plain sight and took photos of the pair together. The ex then sold the photos to tabloids to get a few more days of publicity by claiming the couple was back together. Henry Cavill and Tara King. To be honest, like in all fairness, if, if Henry Cavill, if he's going to be 33 years old messing with a 19 year old, I love this for him. Let this be a lesson to all of the old men that want to date teenagers. I was a teenage girl once. Are you kidding me? I would not fuck with me now for a hundred million dollars. Maybe for that much. Oh God, okay. Speaking of the 19 year old and her fake pregnancy uh, story, in an attempt to win back her ex, this may be a celebrity says that when she hooked up with her superhero ex for ex schmecks that she got pregnant. No one is buying it. That is again, uh, Haley Bieber, Sorry, 19-year-old uh, Tara King and Henry Cavill. Oh, God. <laughs> this... Okay, speaking of the gift that keeps on giving, it's not just Henry Cavill's H. With the ex of the superhero unable to scrounge up any additional tabloid dough, so I guess her friends did send in all of the photos. She has turned to the wallets of the fathers of some of her friends to seem to find her company enjoyable. That is once again Henry Cavill's 19-year-old ex-student girlfriend. Reminds me of that movie Old School, uh, Juliette Lewis's character with uh, Will Ferrell at the end when he's like, I'll take her. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, so Henry Cavill is 33 years old at this point in the blind items. We're still in 2016, but I know his birthday's passed because I'm weird like that. This superhero is a thing for dating girls in high school. His publicists will say they are in college if asked, but he likes them in high school. I don't know how much like more blunt the blind items can be about Henry Cavill. I mean, I, that just, that literally was just a direct answer to everyone's question. Why, why are we still questioning? Why do we still have questions? This isn't Tumblr, babe. This isn't Tumblr, babe. Uh, just for the record, because I know I'm gonna get so many comments just dragging me for this one thing. I said part seven in the beginning. This is part eight of the Henry Cavill blind in deep dives. If I get a fucking comment dragging me for that mistake, you will be blocked. You will be blocked. PMS week has kicked off for me. Don't try it. Lower your voice this entire week. My stomach hurts. Part nine of the Henry Cavill Blind Adam Deep Dive. Uh, mazel tov, y'all. We made it to 2017. Only like four more years till we get to The Witcher, for those who are wondering. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, this, this blind item escalated real fucking quickly. Some whispers have turned into buzzing for this foreign-born A-minus list mostly movie actor with a superhero franchise. Turns out he has been using H the past few months and it is really starting to show. Henry Cavill. A lot of these guys uh, abuse PEDs to get jacked for these superhero roles and then are left with like chronic pain and mental issues. Um, that's really what happened with Chris Hemsworth. It had nothing to do with that like test that said he'll m probably develop Alzheimer's when he's 90. Like, yes, a lot of us will. It's about the fact that the Kurt damage has already been done and he hasn't recovered from it. But that's also why so many superheroes spend time in Australia or are from Australia because Australia is the hot spot for PEDs. This is funny because this is a Henry Cavill blind item that references Ben Affleck. Our favorite superhero actor who will sleep with any woman walking and is not named Ben Affleck apparently made one of his actor co-stars ticked off at him by trying to sleep with the significant other of the actor. He also tries to sleep with every female of the crew or any female that walks on the set he finds attractive. Not a popular guy on set. It doesn't say who the uh, 
who the other superhero was whose wife or girlfriend or fiance Henry Cavill tried to sleep with. But by the way, for those wondering, um, this is why he's not front running for Bond because he is so problematic on set. And there's like years worth of firsthand accounts of how awful he is. If you wanna get a hot Bond girl, you can't like hire Henry Cavill. Okay, next from 2017, was Henry Cavill in Mission Impossible? Because it says he was working on Mission Impossible. This superhero is working on another franchise. The thing is, he has a string of women that he hooks up with, but tells them all they should keep quiet about it because he likes his privacy. He just doesn't want them to know about each other. A female stunt performer on the movie, though, has been very public about their fling, which is causing him some issues. Good for her. If you're in a fling with Henry Cavill, be as public as you fucking can about it. <laughs> Part 10 of the Henry Cavill blind item deep dive. We are still in 2017 and this is a Henry Cavill uh, and another another stunt woman slash former scripper girlfriend, uh, Lucy Cork. Uh, this blind item deep dive is helping me understand why Henry Cavill has no riz when it comes to leading ladies in Hollywood. He just, he just dates whatever he can get. This superhero is dating another stunt woman. This stunt woman previously was a scripper. Okay, so I was right. Nothing wrong with that. Apparently though, the team of the superhero don't want to get out, so are scrub scrubbing comments clean of her past whenever it pops up on a site they can pressure. Uh, okay, so here's the Mission Impossible. It was MI6 that he was in. Someone said, spoiler alert, uh, he had the most glorious death. And this blind item might explain why his death was so glorious. This still a superhero is working on another A-plus list non-superhero franchise. Apparently, head has not gone well and he won't be invited back for another installment. Not Henry Cavill getting written out of the motherfucking plot. Okay. <laughs> this is literally like a, the, a blind, all blind items within the same fucking month. Lucy Cork again. This foreign born superhero is changing hotels every night and staying away from his house after breaking up with his current girlfriend. He cheated and she is not happy. What a surprise, Henry Cavill cheated? Wow, shock. And our final blind item of 2017, y'all. This foreign born superhero is sweating bullets that two of his exes are going to spill what they know about his sh schmeg's life. He needs the superhero gig. He should be worried about this A minus list most movie actor from an acting family who wants to be a superhero and is talking smack about him behind the scenes because the A-minus lister thinks the superhero is the easiest to replace. You guys, this is funny. That was Jake Gyllenhaal talking all this smack about Henry Cavill behind the scenes to try and replace him. Like, I, I, I okay, Toothy Tile, I get it. I get Henry Cavill's problem. Talk shit about each other and tell me, though. Don't talk. Don't talk behind the scenes. Talk to me about each other. You too, Henry. Um, but you, Jake, Jake, I feel like, I mean, I love your confidence, but US, US Superman? Girl, girl, toothy tile. Part 11 of the Henry Cavill Blind Adam Deep Dive. We are finally in 2018. We are one step closer to those Witcher and Enola Holmes items. I'm sorry, uh, Demi Lovato has entered the chat. What? He really does not have a type. Uh, this foreign born superhero is known for a guy who pushes the edge, Megjuli. Yeah, Sea Cucumber Cavill is what he's going to be known as after this series. Um, with his partner, so it is no shock that even though he has a girlfriend, he wants to hook up with this former tweener to actress turned A minus B plus list adult singer. And it says, in two days later, he doesn't have a girlfriend any longer. I guess we will find out if Demi and Henry Cavill did it. <laughs> Just for reference for this next blind item, because good God, um, Henry Cavill is 34 years old. He's about to turn 35 in a few months. Um, all right, here we go. Another 17-year-old. He's literally twice her age. Literally twice her age. For that foreign-born A-list superhero, he is a thing for high school girls. The last one nearly caused his career to come crashing down, but he won't ever change. And that was Tara King, which it had said that she was a university student. And then there was a few blind items being like Henry Cavill will just say that about his girlfriends. But they're really in high school. I think that Tara King was actually 17 um, and was in high school when they were dating or when they started dating. 
Remember what I said about patterns of behavior for all of the stands that are still existing um, that I haven't blocked yet? We've, we've had 10 to 15 blind names now about Henry Cavill in his 30s dating high schoolers. Henry Cavill in his 30s dating teenagers, teenage girls in high school. All right, okay. Okay, Henry Cavill is now 35 and the Me Too movement. <laughs> There sure is a lot of buzzing about what this foreign-born A-list mostly movie actor slash superhero had to say about the Me Too movement. I didn't see this kind of uproar when he was hooking up with high school-age kids in front of everyone. I didn't see this kind of uproar after he and this A-list mostly television actress from Network Show split because of what he wanted her to do or what he made that longtime celebrity girlfriend do. So that was uh, what he tried to make Kaylee Cuoco. Or poor girl Kaylee Cuoco do. Like, literally Kaylee Cuoco, I, I'm sorry. I'm traumatized by just Henry Cavill's blind items. I can't imagine, like, what that PR relationship was like. Um, I love you and Tommy Pelfrey, okay? Um, and Gina Carano, who herself is terrifying. She has done said and done some terrifying things. Um, that is my nightmare uh, threesome, uh, not, I love Kaylee Coco, Henry Cavill and Gina Carano, they would probably throw me in the Thames. Next from 2018, this foreign born A-list superhero is done because he knows what is about to come out about him and the underage high school girls. Apparently that ex of his found what she previously thought was lost, a recording of a little get together with him and a few of her friends. That is again, that girl Tara King, that former high school girlfriend that Henry Cavill dated when he was fucking 32. I'm... Okay, so whenever we we come to the point where we're like, what happened to Henry Cavill's career? Direct anyone and everyone to this series. This is what happened to Henry Cavill's career. Jesus Christ. Witcher fans, Witcher fans, this is part 12 of the Henry Cavill blind and deep dive, but we have our first witcher blind item all right i wanted to let everyone know i know a lot of you guys were waiting for the witcher ones to start they have begun we are in 2018 i had gummies but i saw the next blind item was about the witcher so i had to come back and do part 12 of the henry gavel blind item deep dive thanks to its passionate fan base the television adaptation of The Witcher is one of the hottest properties on Netflix slate and st the streaming service hopes the show will not only succeed HBO's Game of Thrones. Wait, <laughs> Netflix? Love your confidence, as Jennifer Anderson says. Um, as the leading epic fantasy on the air, but also beat off stiff competitions from Amazon's Lord of the Rings and HBO's very own Game of Thrones prequel. Z. Lord of the Rings, yeah, it didn't do so well, but House of the Dragon, give me that hot D. It's starting to all feel very real because we're told exclusively that the lead role of Geralt has been offered to an actor. We're fully expecting a very divided response from the passionate fan base when it's announced. I can't say much more, but I will say it's a super choice. P.S. The rest of the cast is mostly unknowns. And that was Henry Cavill to star in The Witcher. So again, that was August 2018 that that casting was announced. Okay, next, uh, someone mentioned the Sea Cucumber Cavill China Blind Item. This is the Sea Cucumber Cavill China Blind Item. And this is Mission Impossible Fallout. <sighs> With an age of consent of 14, this foreign-born A-list Muslim movie actor has been more disgusting than usual the past few days while promoting a movie. That was in Beijing. I actually, I'm going to have to go live and talk about it because... The sea cucumber thing gave me the realization that I know information about Millie Bobby Brown and sea cucumber cavil. That is not good, but I, I don't know how to like share it or if I want to. Okay, next from 2018, another Witcher blind item. This foreign born probable former superhero knew who would be safe going to this employer. You really have to do some very bad things to get fired. He did bad things. It remains to be seen if people consider those very bad things. So this is Henry Cavill going to Netflix, who notoriously launders money, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Just kidding. Netflix. More China. Certain people over at the studio know what happened in China, but the numbers are few. They're trying to make sure they have a chance at leaving the door open for a return. Yes, despite what he did. Apparently, they feel since it was legal there and there are no witnesses who will say anything, that he might be able to come back. 
I mean, they they let Tom Cruise run run that train on that franchise. It's Mission Impossible. Okay, here is the second Henry Cavill, James Bond, Blightum. The producers of this long-running franchise don't care at all about the cloud swirling. Interesting uh, use of the word swirling there. Around the head of this foreign-born former superhero, they want to cast him as their next replacement. Uh, I think that they ultimately found too much swirling going around there. If you know what I mean, sea cucumber. And our last blind item of 2018. He may or may not be a former superhero, but this foreign born for now former superhero is dating someone in high school who is the legal age in the country he is living. That is Henry Cavill living in Hungary where the age of consent is 14, dating another high schooler. Okay, so the tea on Millie Robbie Brown and Henry Cavill is that allegedly, and we might get to the blind, he took her sea cucumber V. I won't say anything more. That's disturbing, I will say that. Part 13 of the Henry Cavill blind item deep dive. Not gonna lie, since we've entered the realm of the Witcher in Henry Cavill's blind items, I am so invested. I woke up so excited to see what unprofessionalism we uncovered today. So we are now in 2019, okay? Um, this is funny. This is a James Franco Henry Cavill blind item. Yes, yes. Someone go hide uh, Emma Watson. The real story of why this foreign-born former A-list mostly movie actor turned A-minus lister doesn't like the disgraced former A-minus list mostly movie actor is because the disgraced actor kept hitting on the girlfriend of the foreign-born actor even when she told him to stop. So that's Henry Cavill not liking James Franco because James Franco hit on Henry Cavill's teenage high school teenage student girlfriend and the high school teenage student girlfriend told james franco to stop and he wouldn't there is so much wrong with that entire situation but primarily it's james franco and henry cavill still having acting careers eh, james franco not much longer but uh henry cavill i feel like he's next <laughs> Okay, um, we are still in 2019. Millie Bobby Brown and Enola Holmes have entered the chat. Like, trigger warning from here on out. <laughs> While he usually goes for older high school teens, this foreign-born former superhero is the one who had final say on casting the way underage foreign-born A-minus b plus actress because he, quote, wanted to get to know her. Uh-huh. When I say I love the cast of Stranger Things, <laughs> it's because Henry Cavill exists. And the cast of Stranger Things blind items could not be more opposite from anything we've ever read about Henry Cavill. Okay, and next from 2019 is a Henry Cavill Freya I Allen blind item. Yes, The Witcher. All right, Siri. Another one. Paul Walker had the bigger age gaps when he would find underage girls and then SA them. Wow, okay. I was like, damn, it's 7 a.m. That was a that was a hot opener. This foreign-born actor tries to stay closer to the 16 and 17-year-old range, so if he is busted, he can say they were close to legal in whatever country he was filming in. The actor, who is a plus at one point and has had a huge franchise, does not really hide that he dates high schoolers, despite being in his mid-30s. Henry Cavill's now 40, you guys. His latest one is actually an actress, a co-star. He would argue that because she was 17 and most of the schmegs occurred in a country where 17 is legal, he says it is fine. But he, what he won't tell you is they started hooking up prior to production when she was 16. So I believe The Witcher filmed in Romania for the first season. But that is Henry Cavill literally being in a relationship with Freya Allen. Literally being in a relationship with Freya Allen. Literally being in a relationship with 16-year-old Freya Allen. Part 14 of the Henry Cavill Blind Item Deep Dive. Um, for the record, we are still in 2019. We have another Freya Allen Witcher Blind Item. The showrunner for this yet-to-air series that was recently given an additional season should really be worried about her foreign-born lead and that new high school student he is hooking up with. 
Someone should find out her age. And that high school student is uh, none other than Freya Allen. Let's watch uh, a clip of Freya Allen, Lauren Schmidt uh, Hisricks, who is the showrunner, and Henry Cavill. And we actually started by looking uh, at someone much, much younger. Um, Siri in the books is uh, around 11. Yeah. And we started there she and looks very disturbed. quickly we sort of aged up the process. Um, but what's great about Frey is she was actually cast as another role at first. Uh, a much, much smaller role in the first episode. And uh, when we hadn't found our Siri yet, yeah. they, we know we cast you. It's not that we don't want you for that role, but we may want you for something slightly, slightly bigger. Uh -huh. um, and I flew into London and we met and uh, our series. So we also were talking about how to make sure that we bring her in early enough and have Siri have a our series. So we also were talking about how to make sure that we bring her in early enough and have Siri have a our series. Stop gaslighting me and telling me that that's not fucking weird. Stop gaslighting me. Stop it. <laughs> All right, next up from 2019. This foreign born former superhero, and it had question marks around former because Henry Cavill did end up making a cameo in Black Adam, who found himself another high school age teen to be with is recently is very excited to be filming with another underage teen on a movie set. He was pushing hard for the foreign-born a minus list actress to be brought on board. W okay. <laughs> and that is Henry Cavill, like, dating Freya Allen and then going to film with Millie Bobby Brown on Enola Holmes and, like, literally having two 16-year-old girlfriends. Ah! <laughs> Okay, and now next from 2019, this is on David Corinsweet uh, from Pearl and the Politician and Hollywood on Netflix, uh, replacing Henry Cavill as Superman. I told you a year ago that this foreign-born high school girl-loving superhero had been replaced as the superhero. Then there was a whole lot of wishy-washy from the studio before they finally decided on the right thing this week and have officially replaced him. Yeah, like Henry Cavill is undeniably hot. Um, I, I love superhero movies. His body is incredible, but um, I think I think I very much agree with not letting him play Superman. Just just not let him play. Like he can play villains. Let's not let this man play Superman or be near children. <laughs> okay, next from twenty nineteen, uh, Greta Thunberg has entered the chat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Two birds with one stone. No. No. <laughs> no. Our foreign-born former superhero who loves his girlfriend to be still in high school has been garnering some bad publicity as of late. Surprisingly, none of it has to do with his obsession for high school age co-stars. His people want him to find a cause, so he's going to do some events with the foreign-born underage climate activist. <laughs> it's actually pronounced Greta Tumeri. You can literally Google her pronouncing it. I get I get so bullied on this app, and it's actually Greta Thunberg. Something closer to that. Not Thunberg, and not Thunberg. It's Greta Thunberg. You can go fucking Google it. I would refuse to let anyone bully me ever again for Greta Thunberg's real name. Learn Swedish, and then teach me, because I have no fucking idea how to speak it. Part 15 of the Henry Cavill Blind Adam Deep Dive. Now that The Witcher and Enola Holmes are upon us, I am truly invested in this series. We are in 2019. Oh God, uh, this is another Millie Bobby Brown and Freya Allen Blind Item. This foreign born former superhero has a premiere tonight and this is for The Witcher, but it didn't stop him from a late night last night with his no longer underage hookup partner slash co-star Freya Allen apparently has been making a lot of demands on her in the yum fulfillment way, in the sea cucumber fulfillment way. She knows he has that way underage foreign born actress, Millie Bobby Brown in his sights. So was holding that over the head of his current hookup partner. blind item is saying Henry Cavill was literally weaponizing the fact that he was going to start shooting with underage Millie Bobby Brown to get Freya Allen to get sea cucumbered by him 
more often. Uh, for everyone being like, this man's not in jail. Why is this man not in jail? If this was for real, this man would be in jail. He's British. The age of consent is 16. I think you, I think you underestimate how hard it is to get a celebrity in jail when their escapades are global. And they're from a country where the age of consent is 16. Unfortunately. Unfortunately for all of us. Damn. But most of all, unfortunately for Freya Allen and Millie Bobby Brown's like future selves when they look back on all this. Um, and this is why The Witcher's Henry Cavill just wants to stay home and play games. Like, video games. Video games. Uh, this foreign-born former superhero sometimes cans with people in the online community and several of them have reported teenagers who are always with him and have been topless in the past. He was called out on it by a gamer about a month ago and has not been seen online since. Uh, not all heroes wear capes. Some of them uh, are gamers. Uh, Superman wearing a cape is definitely not a hero, Henry Cavill, but thank God for that one gamer. By the way, uh, I saw that the Jimmy Fallon show is back on air. Who the fuck is letting Jimmy Fallon continue to have a talk show while there's so many women? Just kidding, not me, but like Chloe Feynman. So many funnier women that aren't drunk all the time that should replace him. But in that, in that spirit, um, let's watch that really creepy fucking clip of Jimmy Fallon and um, Henry Cavill, two grown men who enjoy women way too, girls way too young for them. Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> no cardio. Uh, no, I run. Ew. Let's say Ariana. Part 16 of the Henry Cavill Blind Adam Deep Dive. We are in 2020, y'all. We are like three months away from lockdown. <laughs> Every time I do a blind item deep dive, I get to 2020 and I'm like, oh, fucking P-E-T-S-D. Uh, this is quickly turning into a Millie Bobby Brown, Henry Cavill blind item deep dive um, with this first 2020 blind item being Henry Cavill and Millie Bobby Brown. For the record, Millie Bobby Brown is in P a PR relationship with rugby player Joseph Robinson. So that was, that was them. The people of this foreign-born A minus B plus list three named actress want the world to talk about her new age-appropriate boyfriend. And boyfriend is in quotations. Okay, yeah. It is great cover for being with the former superhero who's on their radar. So this blind item is alleging that in January 2020, uh, Millie Bobby Brown and Henry Cavill were in some sort of situation ship. Next from 2020. This foreign-born a list actor who's a former superhero confirmed what I told you weeks ago. He spends his time online looking for fellow gamers. The thing is, the ones he is looking for are well underage. Henry Cavill. Next up in 2020, we have a James Bond-related blind item um, featuring Sam Hewen and Henry Cavill. The Battle. The two top names to take over the long, long, long-running movie franchise, and that is James Bond, are both foreign-born. One is a former superhero, that is Henry Cavill, and the other is a pay cable star, that is Sam Hewen. They both have a lot of skeletons in their closet. Um, okay, wait, uh, I think, I think Sam's skeletons are, um, a lot less problematic, and not even problematic at all compared to Henry's skeletons. Let's not compare skeletons between these two guys, all right? Uh, they both have a lot of skeletons in their closet, and the PR management teams behind both are relentlessly leaking as much dirt as they can to knock the competition out. <laughs> Number one, so that's uh, Henry Cavill, will of course have his love of underage teens brought up, and the secret hookup he had with the YouTube star who's introduced to him, who introduced him to the teenage activist. Oh my god! Ew, so... The reason Henry Cavill, by the way, collabed with Greta Thunberg is because he was hooking up with a teenage YouTube star who was friends with her. Fuck. Ah! Meanwhile, Sam Hewen will somehow be linked to the unaliving of his teenage co-star, Jack Burns. The manager of Henry Cavill has been battling with royals for a long time and is used to getting down and dirty. This should be interesting to watch. Okay, I'm an Outlander fan, and I didn't know about this, but uh, this guy played young Roger Wakefield, and he was found unalive in his home. 
uh, I believe in Scotland, somewhere in the UK. Wow, Kevin Spacey was also somewhere in the UK, I'm just saying. Now, I think it was the skeletons in Henry Cavill's closet that uh, took him out of the running for Bond, but I actually think it's Sam Hewen's age um, and his hairline, to be completely fucking honest. Um, Bond is, like, the most coveted role, especially among British, British actors. Um, and Aaron Taylor Johnson's got that fucking hairline on, on lockdown. They want the next Bond to be able to play Bond as long as, like, Daniel Craig did, which I think spanned, what, almost 15, 20 years? So we don't have another 15, 20 years of Sam Hewen's hairline. We do have that with Aaron Taylor Johnson. We definitely do not have 15 to 20 more years of Henry Cavill being a free man at this rate. <laughs> Part 17 of the Henry Cavill Blind Item Deep Dive. Okay, we are in 2020. Uh, I'm going to try my best to get through this next blind item in one piece. Um, This is a Henry Cavill. <laughs> Greta Thunberg. <laughs> Wait, I just need to get it out. It's funny because no Greta Toonberries were actually harmed in the making of this blind item, but it's a blind item. The foreign-born former superhero who crashed and burned out of it when his underage age exploits were thought to be imminently exposed. So this is saying that Henry Cavill lost the role of Superman because Warner Brothers in DC thought he was going to be exposed for being a pedophile, but he hasn't been until right now. Um, found yet another 16-year-old. Oh, and apparently he did have phone schmecks with the activist, but never actually hooked up with her. That was Greta Thunberg and Henry Cavill. Oh, All of a sudden, Leonardo DiCaprio is looking like, what? Hi, Leo. Hi, Leo. At least. It's like 25. But Greta Thunberg? Literally. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm being dramatic, but like the Greta Thunberg of this all just made this escalate to a whole nother level where I can never forgive it. Uh, next from 2020 uh, is another Millie Bobby Brown blind item. So we had Greta Thunberg and now Millie Bobby Brown all in the same month. This foreign-born former superhero who wants another chance did spend some time in person with his underage foreign-born co-star. Sea Cucumber. Yes, that, that is that. There is a very descriptive thing about it. I'm not going to read that. Okay, next in 2020, we have another Chris Evans, Henry Cavill blind item. This time the victim is Kaya Gerber. Don't believe the hype. This current superhero is not shacking up or essaying the underage celebrity offspring of two A-listers. I'm sorry I'm laughing, but like, you guys, I am uncomfortable. But that is Chris Evans not shacking up or essaying Kaya Gerber. Now, if it were the foreign-born former superhero, we could have a discussion. Uh, that is saying Henry Cavill very much would. But both men, uh, the fact that they are being pitted against each other in a blind item at poten as potential suspects tells you everything you need to know about both of them. I don't think Chris Evans is as bad as Henry Cavill, but Chris Evans is bad. Like, he was bragging to all of his friends how he married a girl that plays a teenager on her show. That's, that's what Millie Bobby Brown was doing too when Henry Cavill hooked up with her. I'm just saying, they'd be bragging about the same things. You know what? Captain Marvel is my new favorite. <laughs> Brie Larson, you know, I appreciate you and your crush on Taylor Swift. I hope that one day you two end up together with me as your third. Part 18 of the Henry Cavill Blind Item Deep Dive. We only have three more years of blind items to get through at this point. Let's make it through the tape. I gotta hype myself up at this point because I'm psychologically damaged. We are in 2020. And for the record, uh, Freya Allen turned 18 on September 6th, 2019. So a year before this blind item. 
the fact that that's like the reference note um says everything that <laughs> will make me cry of course now that his co-star is of legal age to be with this foreign born a a minus list dual threat actor uh no longer wants to be with her so she's almost turning 19 in this blind item and is pushing for some younger girls to be brought on for filming, which has resumed. And that's on The Witcher. Uh, so now now we know, I think uh, uh, Liam Hemsworth, like, listen, I know Liam Hemsworth cheated on Miley Cyrus and may have fathered a baby with Jenny Ray Jones. But like Liam Hemsworth doesn't remotely compare uh, to the level of unprofessionalism that Henry Cavill has exhibited throughout his entire fucking career, particularly all of these fucking blind items. Holy shit. Okay, you guys, remember that that ex Lucy Cork, who was the stunt woman slash former scripper that Henry Cavill had to stay at different hotel rooms every night after cheating on her? Yeah, so that was like three years ago in terms of blind items. She's back in the picture. This in the past ex-girlfriend of the foreign born former superhero suddenly popped back on the radar last or this past week. She's trying to get a payday from the actor. She already got one, but now wants more not to tell all his teen loving secrets. I feel like, okay, so here's the thing about Henry Cavill in Hollywood. Um, a lot of actors do not like him because he came out and said the quiet part out loud, um, which most actors do not feel this way. And he said that um, he only does acting for the money and like the girls, like that's it, but, like lifestyle, like he doesn't enjoy the art of it. He literally said that, like, out loud. Um, so I, I researched some Henry Cavill with, like, A-listers in Hollywood last night because I wanted to see how, besides his teen loving, like, what else he has said and done that could, like, offend the entire Hollywood community. Saying that is, like, really fucking tone-deaf awful. And also, like, I, I don't want to watch an actor that has that mindset. Like, I love cinema, and acting for the art of it. The thing about acting is we just witnessed a SAG strike is that most people don't make a lot of money doing it, but they love doing it. So it's like really not the thing that you ever want to say. Henry Cavill. Next from 2020. And again, I believe The Witcher filmed in Romania. Speaking of foreign born former superheroes, a barely legal in the country where they are filming actress. So... I think, like, the age of consent is maybe 14. So we're talking, like, 13-year-old. Okay? Um, it Barely legal in the country they were filming was brought in for our actor to hook up, hook up with because they were scared of how young he would go if they didn't. So they brought in, like, a literal 13-year-old. Thir uh, 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 instead of going to her bat mitzvah, she was brought into Henry Cavill's tra trailer on the set of The Witcher. Oh! <gasps> Wait, do you guys remember when uh, the Witcher production like was halted or some shit because Henry Cavill was injured on set? He wasn't injured on set. Sure, you could call it an injury for this foreign born a minus list actor or you could call it having him lay low after what happened in his trailer with a girl who was about to sue him. I wonder if she's the 13 year old that missed her bat mitzvah. Part 19 of the Henry Cavill blind item deep dive. Um, unfortunately, this part is now too old to be Henry Cavill's type. We are in 2021, so we only got two more years worth of blinds. Um, and, and Natalie Vescuso, that is his current girlfriend. Uh, this, my, I think she is the My Super Sweet 16 girl. Um, allegedly they met on the set of Enola Holmes. I think that that's cover for Millie Bobby Brown. Um, but the fact that he's dating the girl, a girl that was on my super sweet 16, and that was her claim to fame, um, should make sense now. She is allegedly 32 years old. Um, based on, uh, deductive reasoning, I'm, I'm assuming she loves to be a sea cucumber. It is a mad scramble for this foreign born AA minus list actor and his career. His people know there is stuff coming out about him in the next couple weeks that would be career ending. So they made him go public with this new woman in his life who is a plant. Throw a whole bunch of positive PR out there and hope it can cancel the bad. 
So everyone that has commented, it is a fucking PR. Are you serious? Are you serious? I bet Henry Cavill's PR team had to pay him to be in a PR relationship with someone that old. Not even, it's like a PR relationship, but they probably had to pay him to be like, okay, fine, I'll be in a PR relationship with someone over the age of fucking 20, let alone 30. <laughs> Uh, next from 2021, it is super creepy that this foreign-born A-list actor who used to be a superhero and might be one again, maybe, wasn't interested in his girlfriend at all until he watched a television special about her when she was a teenager. And that is my super sweet 16. <laughs> and it says, Henry Cavill responds to social media, gossip about his private life. I'm very happy in love. No, you aren't, dude. You are literally probably, like, being a Smegs tourist with a 12-year-old, wherever you are right now. We are still in 2021, but just so you guys know, uh, Henry Cavill like did that PR drop with Natalie Viscuso, and then his blind items got real quiet for like seven or eight months, which means his PR team definitely put him in timeout and grounded him. Um, this foreign-born former A-list superhero wants another shot at the character he was fired from. So Henry Cavill was fired from Superman. Henry Cavill was fired from Superman. I'm not sure how his body even functions with all the steroids he takes on a daily basis. Oh, that's also what's going on. Like, he's not just a fucking Epstein menace. He's a steroid-fueled Epstein menace. That must be terrifying. Next from 2021, this foreign-born A-list superhero who would really love his old job back is using his old Finsta again. He's not used it since he was hooking up with the high schooler several years ago. Allegedly, this is it! <laughs> Do y'all dare me to DM him? Okay, I just requested to follow him. <laughs> okay, next from 2021, uh, this is uh, Henry Cavill. Millie Bobby Brown blind item. Ready? This a minus list foreign born superhero has been a frequent name in many blind item sites, especially regarding a relationship with his barely legal co star, Millie Bobby Brown. And this one says who is in fact dating an older co star of the streaming show Stranger Things. The question is, who is the one behind this career sabotage? Is it the fellow a minus list actor, and that is either Jamie Dornan or Brandon Ruth, wanting to take over his superhero role? Or is it the scorned ex-girlfriend out for revenge? Um, it's definitely not Jamie Dornan or Brandon Ruth, because Ralph, Ruth, Ruth, whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. He has a last name almost like me. He played Superman. David Cornsweet was already cast as Superman at this point in time. Uh, so it's definitely that Lucy Cork just being like dude i'm gonna tell everyone about all of your teenagers if you continue to not pay me again we had that blind in about the extortion is it really extortion when it's henry cavill and she's doing it for the safety of children no uh okay and uh we can officially cancel henry cavill now this is our final 2021 blind item it's ending on a terrible note this foreign born former superhero hit his most recent hookup in the face yesterday. This is Natalie Viscuso. After she spilled something on a suit he recently purchased. Did he buy his own Superman suit? Because he got fired. She fled the house and went to stay with her sister. So, if you weren't if you weren't convinced that him being a fucking Epstein, he's also a DVer. I'm waiting for the video where I don't have to block a Henry Cavill fan. I hope we're finally at that point. I'm not the problem. It's not me. Part 20 of the Henry Cavill Blind Adam Deep Dive. We are in 2022. I do believe part 20 will be our final part. Thank God. Make sure all of you um, take care of your mental health. I know I need to. A studio mentioned earlier wanted there to be a lot of buzz at this annual gathering. And this is the San Diego Comic Con. And the studio's Warner Brothers. They, they wanted good buzz, so they let people believe an appearance was going to happen in a movie announcement, knowing full well it was not. <laughs> and it says Superman fans react to no Henry Cavill news during Warner Brothers Comic Con panel. <laughs> now, I just looked it up, and there is, I, I mean, the timeline might be off with the SAG strike, but there is an Enola Holmes 3 expected to come out in 2024 and it does say that henry cavill is rumored to uh rejoin the cast for the third one but that's pretty much besides argyle <laughs> oh my god speaking of argyle okay that's what this movie is you know who wrote argyle 
JK Rowling. That's why Henry Cavill's in it. <laughs> problematic, meet problematic. The mystery author who sold a movie and everyone is trying to identify is a foreign born, a priceless writer who likes to use her initials in her name. Um, she, she intentionally, again, I think used a man's name, um, or like a, a non-feminine sounding name to sell books. I need to write a fucking book. Kyle Roth? Kyle Roth? Dude! Okay, this next blind item just puts it so casually. I mean, if you're going to work and support the actor who kidnaps teens and has scattered arrests around the world, and in his spare time is a woman hitter, uh, then sure, why not bring back the superhero who also enjoys the companionship of underage girls? Okay, so the first one was, sorry, Ezra Miller. I, I was like, wow, Henry Cavill has arrest records around the world. Yeah, that was Ezra Miller. And the second one um, is Henry Cavill. Birds of a feather. It is kind of crazy that there are two superheroes and a current slash former villain in this universe who have now been accused of questionable interactions with underage females. Maybe if R. Kelly ever gets out of jail, they, were, they will hire him. That is Ezra Miller, Henry Cavill, and Jared Leto being the literal trifecta for DC Warner Brothers. I bet Harvey Weinstein is like sitting in jail being like, thank God for those three. My legacy would be even worse. Okay, and this is Liam Hemsworth replacing uh, Henry Cavill in The Witcher. It just says this foreign-born actor will never be the highest on the list in his family and has started a regiment of supplements for his new role and six months from now will not be recognizable. Has anyone checked on Liam Hemsworth, by the way? It's been six months since this blind item. This barely legal foreign-born a minusless actress confirmed what I told you a year or more ago. She had a very special relationship when she was not of age with the superhero who is pushing 40 and has a history of relationships with underage girls. Millie Bobby Brown and Henry Cavill. And it says Millie Bobby Brown said her adult relationship with Henry Cavill has strict boundaries. Listen, David Harbour, there are Brian Cranston. There have been so many actors, grown male actors in Hollywood that have worked with teens, worked with kids. Uh, they have not had to say they set strict boundaries. They have not had to have Millie Bobby Brown and Freya Allen talk about them being a father figure. That is called compensating. The reason Brian Cranston and David Harbour don't ever have to fucking repeat that shit constantly is because they are not Henry Cavill. And they have adult relationships, meaning age appropriate, platonic, healthy um, not illegal relationships with Millie and Bobby Brown and other kids. Just FYI. Okay, we're gonna have to do a part 21 because we got a really long blind item called Gaslighting Next about Freya Allen and Millie and Bobby Brown. And as someone who's been gaslit in my comment section by the remaining surviving Henry Cavill fans, um, I feel like I'm gonna feel validated by this one. Part 21 of the Henry Cavill blind item deep dive. We are way out of his age range. Um, and this is that blind item. We are in 2022 called Gaslighting. And it's a Free Allen, Millie Bobby Brown, Henry Cavill collab. He, that is Henry Cavill, did it with his very young female co-star, Freya Allen, on the show The Witcher. He just left. He told her to always keep everything quiet and not say anything. That is a huge pattern of behavior over years, not just for you, Alan, like a lot of girls um, and money being involved to keep them from saying anything. With her, it was off screen and on. When someone would notice in their scenes that there seemed to be an intimacy between the pair, he would always admonish her publicly in front of the crew and tell her it was her fault. He always made it seem like she had a crush on him and nothing more. Fast forward to another movie, and that is Enola Holmes, and his very odd relationship with the barely legal actress Millie Bobby Brown, all of you know. I'm not going to call it grooming, but he likes to be her acting coach, if you will. I think Millie Bobby Brown could be his acting coach. Girl, she can out-act Henry Cavill as an 11-year-old playing 11. Anyway, as you grow older, you're going to have roles which are much more adult in theme, and we should practice those. That's literally what Henry Cavill said to Millie Bobby Brown, 16-year-old. 
You will have scenes where you are kissed and pretending to have schmecks. We should practice those. So of course she fell for him. Once again, he gets angry if she lets anything slip in front of others. He gets angry with her and she has to be the one to rush to him and beg for forgiveness. At some point, she won't ever be able to remove herself from him. So all of those people leaving comments, but Freya Allen and Millie Bobby Brown talked constantly about how they saw Henry Cavill as a big brother and a father figure. It's because he literally groomed them and threatened them to say that. Okay? There was a power dynamic going on here between a four-year-old man, 40, 40 years old, and 18-year-old girls who were fucking 16 when he hooked up with them or started grooming them. Even younger, I think, for Millie Bobby Brown. They were coached to say that. Okay? You are further, further gaslighting victims victims they, their their management teams might not let them say anything about it now but you can fucking bet your asses when and if millie and freya allen turn fucking 40 or 50 and henry cavill's they they are going to have some fucking stories and they are going to be like thank you to anyone um who saw an issue with this and didn't blindly believe uh henry cavill's gaslighting Okay, uh, this next one is about uh, Henry Cavill and his riding instructor, uh, Laszlo Hujas Jr., his Hungarian hung riding instructor. We know what he was doing in Hungary. There is a lot of buzz around town right now about this on-again, off-again superhero in the DC Universe who has apparently angered some guy with whom he shared a bed from time to time. The grief party is talking all kinds of stuff about the superhero and none of it is good. Um, what better way to find a sea cucumber than to find a man to share your bed? You guys, we might have another part after this. Uh, I've written a lot of creepy blinds about the foreign-born on-off-again superhero, but unlike the buzz on message boards, no, he's never done it with an animal. <laughs> the fact that that had to be clarified. Getting an actor to quit his longtime paying gig only to yank the job offer from beneath his feet shortly thereafter is not going to win you many friends as the head of the studio, considering their shared interest in underage teens. I thought they would get along perfectly. That is James Gunn firing Henry Cavill or not recasting him, um, uh, despite the fact that Henry Cavill also wasn't going to be returning to The Witcher, which uh, I don't know about anyone else. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be convinced that he wasn't fired from The Witcher or asked to leave because of requesting for younger girls to be brought in after Freya Allen turned 18. Are you fucking kidding me? This foreign-born, a minusless actor slash former superhero, Henry Cavill, doesn't care what people say about him because he knows he will get roles. Will you? Will you? Will you? Glitch, you know you don't care about this blind item deep dive. I know everyone else does. He faced zero consequences for the high school girl, and that was Tara King. He faced no consequences for either of his co-stars, Freya Allen, and his relationships with them, especially the much younger one, Millie Bobby Brown. Allegedly, they also had a relationship during Enola Holmes 2. Not just the first one, the second one as well. He doesn't care that some cast and crew don't like him. He won't change. He will continue to be awful. Our final blind item of 2022, the people behind this foreign-born former superhero wanted to release a statement getting ahead of a situation they know is coming. They wanted to do it during the holidays, but the former superhero thinks he can throw money at the problem. Another underage teen, although legal in the country, the incident happened. Henry Cavill. All right, I will do one more part, part 22, part 22, uh, because we are beginning 2023 now, and this will be the final part, last part coming next. Thank God. Part 22 of the Henry Cavill Blind Adam Deep Dive. We are in 2023. This foreign-born a minusless actor was asked to step in and take over a role on a very popular streaming show. The thing is, the actor who replaced might be coming back, and if he doesn't, the whole thing might be canceled, even though it had been scheduled to be renewed. Liam Hemsworth in The Witcher with Henry Cavill potentially, allegedly, maybe coming back. Next from 2023, this former superhero shared very risque photos of his girlfriend to friends, but she thinks all the photos stayed private. Natalie Viscuso and Henry Cavill. Um, uh, what the fuck is this Millie Bobby Brown blind item? Okay, like what? This foreign-born a minusless actor who has a problem waiting until his dates turn 18 hired someone to follow an actress who is barely over the age of 18. Apparently our actor is super possessive and wants to know what she is doing all the time. 
And it's so weird because here's the related headline. We're like brothers and sisters. How Henry Cavill and Millie Bobby Brown showed that a man and woman can be friends. First of all, she's not a woman. I mean, she is now, but she was a girl. She was a literal child. Do you guys see that headline? That was, that was Henry Cavill's PR team. As we have heard over and over again, these blind items, like literally gaslighting the entire world at this point, not just those girls. Speaking of substances, this foreign born from her superhero still wants a shot at Bond. <laughs> if he does, he needs to stop having uh, pow pow and prescription parties. Um, I, I do not support a Henry Cavill as Bond. I, I know like last week, I still was like, uh, you know, I would love to see a Henry Cavill's Bond, maybe. Nope, 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 would never, nope, never, never, never. Uh, and that concludes our Henry Cavill blind item deep dive. Uh, him trying to get Bond is the last we've heard of him in 2023. Um, as we all know, he is in a PR relationship with Natalie Viscuso. Um, that's why there's probably not a lot of blind items because it's not even real and he's probably off in like, Romania or Hungary with another 12 year old um yeah Henry Cavill you guys can watch Argyle if you want I'm going to sit that one out um I'm I'm good on that man's career it sucks because I love Anya Cholata uh I just butcher last name on The Witcher um Yennefer and that's why like I I mean I love all of the female cast on The Witcher period um so that's why I watched that. But uh, we'll see if he returns for Enola Holmes 3. Other than that, bye, Superman. I can't wait to see David Cornsweat play Superman. David Cornsweat is also another uh, good guy in Hollywood. Like Brian Cranston and Pedro Pascal. Even like Richard Madden. Even Aaron. D like, like, I'm telling you guys. No. <laughs> Henry Cavill is like the 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 straight Kevin Spacey, literally. The most unprofessional blind items I've I've read. Like uh, I I feel like him and Joffrey Jonas should maybe like link up and become besties and get arrested in some foreign country together and never be allowed to like leave whatever foreign country that is and return to the UK and the United States. So forget Alan Millie Bobby Brown and Sophie Turner and Sophie Turner's two daughters can just r relax and live in peace <laughs> with those two predators gone. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for sticking this one out. Uh, this was a lot. I do not, I do not feel well. Um, but let's not also blame Millie Bobby Brown or Freya Allen. I just want to state for the record they were victims and I don't know if they've realized it or their management team has realized it. I know MBB's parents are allegedly horrible, like the worst version of stage parents, but um, we are not going to shame the, the underage female victims here. This was him. This was that 40 year old man.